Now, I may not have a Rage 2 theme, but I feel like the aesthetic is pretty similar. Maybe just a wee bit. Maybe a wee not, but, you know, it's pink. Rage 2 is going for a pink thing. All about that. I loved the first Rage. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what critics say. I had a good time. You cannot take that from me. Yep, I loved Rage. And I also love the color pink. And, uh, it was only me asking for this. But you know what? I got it. So that's alright. Oh yeah, Rage 2 is out now? You don't fucking say. I would have never guessed. You know what? Even though I am recording, and usually I set it to easy when I'm recording for the sake of getting through the game, this will not be a full LP. This one's just for me, guys. We're doing a first impressions video. But I intend to continue playing this game off stream, not in a video. Because you know what? Sometimes it's just for, for me. World. And it's not for Our you. Our earth, so mercifully cleansed by the meteor they named Apophis. We had such lands all thwarted by one man. Oh, was that the wasteland hero from the first one? Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs That's the man. Emerged. The eco bards came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses. We take their compounds. We take the arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority. And a lot of people know this. <clears throat> and they're right not to know. But, uh, <clears throat> Rage had a novelization, the first one. It was more or less just the, the retelling of the game. But, you know, through a first-person view. The main character does not speak at any time. So it's a bit weird. Oh, I could be, I could be a lady? Oh, I didn't know we could pick a gender! Oh, I got to be a male. I had to be a male in the first one, so I'm gonna be a lady this time. I am I am female wall wall rat. Oh, but I gotta look around for collectibles. You know me, I can't I can't not. Oh, what's this? Yeah, I want that side one. I want that wing stick too. I pre-ordered it, so I got the I got the goofy foam wing stick with it. It's sitting on top of my books. It doesn't quite open like that. You gotta push a button in the middle. They had a goofy ass commercial for it. It was charming and silly. Come on, Lily. That was my kill. You gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. Oh, that voice actor sounds familiar. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right, then let's go fucking get some. Come on. 
Alright, I guess I got my shit. It's time to go. Oh, hello. Oh, you're crouching. You crouched over my bullets. No, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> See ya. Oh, that thing's like a giant wing stick. Oh, you just fucking give to my dudes. Ow, sorry. What's crouch? Circles crouch, okay. Yeah, let's go fuck shit up. What's this? Can I have it? Yes. Oh, I, I started holding square. I had to hold square to do things before. I, I remember I was playing uh, Metro Exodus not too long ago, and I was pretty annoyed at how frequently you have to hold square instead of just tapping it. I mean, just, I, I always want what you're giving me. Don't make me hold it. Oh, what's a Feltrite cell? Fallen it will regenerate my health. Keep in mind the Feltrites are highly unstable though and will dissolve if not picked up quickly enough. Alright, limited time offer. When I've taken a lot of damage, I can press up to use a health infusion. I have a uh, fond and awkward memories of playing the first rage. I, uh, I was playing it with a mouse and keyboard on the PS3 using a special adapter. And it was a little awkward because, uh, to revive, you would have to press L1 and R1 to sort of re-jump your heart. Well, I thought that guy was going to be a hero. <laughs> I guess he was in a way, but not a lasting one. Oh, sorry, Ranger Jersey. Anyways, yeah, you would you would defib to bring yourself back to life and press L1 and R1. And uh, the screen would just say, hey, press L1 and R1, because it didn't know I was using a mouse and keyboard, but I could never remember what L1 and R1 were mapped to, because I was just like, oh, left button is shoot, this button is that. I never really took into consideration what was what. Yeah, sorry, I was just I was just rambling. So, uh, so I would always do a really bad revive, which forced me to get really good at the game because I couldn't afford to get downed ever. And it was also a pain in the ass to switch to, uh, to vehicle mode because there was definitely lots of driving and racing in it. Fortunately enough, the uh, adapter I was using, you could have two presets on it and it had a little toggle. So whenever I would switch to vehicles, I could just slash that toggle. And then boom, I'd be ready. But uh, you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna play with a with a controller. I'm gonna hope that they did a good job off a uh, good job optimizing it for console and uh, and just see what I got. I can tap a triangle quickly to switch between recently used weapons, or hold it for a full loadout. Well, that's cool. It freezes time completely too. Let's me get a little head start on what my weapons are going to be. In the first rage, I think you could equip like four at a time, one to each of the main directions. You could have a lot of weapons on you, but you have to go into an inventory menu and manage which ones were on your uh, your quick, your uh, quick four. Yeah, I guess I just want to keep my assault rifle. It's not telling me the buttons. Wing stick is a versatile deadly gadget can be used in combination with your other weapons. Tap R1 to throw wing stick. Didn't go all that far. Let's try it again. They, I don't know. I don't always get them back though. Sometimes they bash off stuff. Oh, I'm getting caught on shit. All right, all right. 
I'm just gonna take it easy. I, I went in there thinking I could do whatever I wanted. I forgot that I was playing a video game. Do I have to press square to get my wing stick back, or do I just pick it up with my feet? I'm gonna let them finish it off. Fine, don't finish it off then. Fucking useless. Alright, move up, move up with my pals. Grenades! I can tap... oh. Is it when I have them equipped? Because I could tap R1 to throw a grenade. Yeah, down to switch gadget. Boom, now it's on grenade. Suck it! That was a pretty flaccid grenade, I'm not going to lie. Oh, it gives me a handy meter. So I can time it. That's nice. I don't think I've seen that before. Usually you just get like a beep or something, or you just, you just got to learn it. Oh yeah, I don't think I auto regen. I have to pick shit up. I got fucking downed. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm a little rusty to my shooters. It's gonna take me a bit. What's a? Uh, okay, R three is melee. I'm just kind of guessing at the controls. It's not telling me all of them. When I feel like I could be using them. All right, the blue things are stims. I keep forgetting that. I can, like, see them, but I'm just ignoring them for whatever reason. I was waiting for my regen. Can I...? No, I was thinking I could sneak through there do something else. Well, it stunned him a bit. That's <laughs> still a pretty flaccid grenade. Probably not something I'm gonna use very often. I guess I want these. I want Max. Hi Pam. Pam Riley. Nice to meet you. I'm Walker. Presumably not the Texas Ranger. Okay, I can slide. If I uh, crouch while sprinting. Oh, climbs. Oh, is that? Can I get a little peek? A little sneak peek? Alright, no sneak peeking. Now it tells me how to crouch. I can hold L1 to focus and highlight enemies and objects for tactical importance. It also attracts nearby f oh that's good. Cool. Oh, I didn't notice there'd be so much stuff in the way I can. That's handy. Got fucking detective vision. Just pulls it right to me. That makes going and getting it, cause like, yeah, you kill some enemies, but you're low on health. Maybe there's some enemies left and you don't want to, you know, get out of cover. Take the damage. Oh, those are bad guys over there. They weren't shooting for a long time. That, that little crackle or pop noise when you get a headshot is satisfying too. I like hearing it. Makes me feel good about the things I've done. And, and if there's one thing video games want you to feel, it's good about killing. No, I'm gonna hit you. We're playing it like that. What do you think of that? Butt jump. Gross. Oh, does his brain pop out? Yeah, his brain just fell right out. Piece of his skull, too. Gross. Now I can't make bits come off of him. Only that bit. They they, they kind of resemble the Strog, don't they? Like an ugly stro Well, I mean, the Strog are pretty ugly. Let's not say things we don't mean. Ow, what was that? What happened to me? Oh, it's that fucking guy with the big old blaster. I didn't see what he did before, because I was just <laughs> punching the shit out of him. Oh, another guy. 
Can I have it? Give it to me. I like that. It feels good to do. But yeah, they look like they're just ugly. Like, messy or strong. Oh, maybe, maybe they are. Explosive barrel. It didn't highlight explosive barrel. That seems like a tactical thing. It wasn't highlighted in focus mode. Look at the- oh! That one came shooting towards me. I thought it was gonna explode. That seems like a, a tactically important thing to know. Maybe, maybe there's upgrades. Also, I want my wing stick back, I think. Oh, is this guy being a hero? Look at him go. Kill enemies in succession to charge overdrive, which increases the damage you deal. When fully charged, you can activate overdrive by pressing L1 and R1. I also regain health. Yeah, I want to try it. Does it just turn me into a killing machine? Give me more things to kill. That wasn't a lot of things to kill. I feel like it could give me a lot more things to do. That would have been fun. Oh, see, if I had rushed ahead, I'd have a whole bunch of things to do here. Nice, <laughs> cool rolls, dude. I'm afraid you just got melee struck. Alright, got quite a bit of health back from that. That was handy. Oh, it's a, yep, nope. There we go. That's a nice sound. It feels good. I'm going to be definitely playing this a little louder when I'm not streaming it or doing a video. Because I want that volume. I want that pop. I have, I have been waiting a pretty decent amount of time for this game. Did he, just, did he just turn into bits of blood and then an arm? Oh, that tracer's from a different game. An inferior game. Oh, this fucking cougar doing it. He exploded. Decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. The meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! Yeah, I'm pretty sure the voice actress is Laura Bailey. I mean, it always is. That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They, they, they bit his head right off. You're brave enough to put on his armor. You're brave enough to do his job. Is that his job right that? there? You know what they say, the bigger they are, the easier they are to hit. <clears throat> oh, he's just right here. He's just a robot man. Just shoot his head. It's just a little man head. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. Bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley's lost it or if it's really true. Do know this though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son of a stand down! That's a direct order! Watch out! How did that thing get so close to us suddenly? Oh, this is a cool scene. I like this. Oh, why wouldn't you let the player character get in that? <laughs> That's not how we video games. I mean, I, I really like first-person cutscenes. And I also like the cutaways to non-first-person. But I feel like combining them is a bit sloppy. A little hard to follow. Erwina Prowley. Is that you? I 
was set to spare the lives of you original Arcists for experimentation. But for you, I'll make an exception for old times, Erwina. <laughs> oh no, just like that, huh? Well, we're introducing a lot of characters to die. I'm surprised Lily lasts as long. It's like <laughs> everyone that's had like a little cut to has been killed so far except Lily. Let's so I mean, she's got to be next, right? Clear. Wait. Uh, uh, fuck's sake. I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So, this is it then. This is all that's left. Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Crowley. Cross, he... He killed her. He killed my mother. Oh, it was her know. mom. But we gotta stop them. And I'll... Personally, wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories that the authority would return. Well, they did, and we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP. You nuts. Only rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. I'm the only ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. That was a bit awkward. Gun pointing straight at her head. Let's have a talk. Alright, let's try that again. You sure you're okay here? Yeah, yeah. You go do the cool ass ranger shit while I try and figure out what to do here. Will do. Alright, told me to press my touchpad. Now why was I doing that? Alright, I got my missions. Gotta find them, gotta do things. Road locations, I don't I don't have a whole lot. Look, uh what's his name didn't even get a thing here. I forgot his name already. Yeah, I gotta it's good there's gonna be some leveling up. Oh turret drones are cool. There used to be a you used to be able to set up like little crab walkie dudes that would shoot for you. Kind of like the Doom 3 things. And then you got these guys and there's also just like little ones that you'd set up on like a tripod. There was a lot of shit. People don't realize how much shit there was in Rage. Tons of gadgets. Tons of stuff to do. But uh, right off the bat, doesn't seem like this game has the polish that uh, the new Doom did. But that's okay. Rage isn't supposed to be Doom. It just looked like it would be a lot like Doom. Okay, these are extremely valuable. Can contain arc weapons and abilities. Search for arcs across wasteland and become more powerful. Approach the arc, face the door, and use focus by holding L1 to open it up. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to arc 401A. <laughs> I like how there's a pause. So they can insert the right voice clip, that's fun. So what is it? Stick my hand into this strange hole and hope for the best. Yeah. Sticking hands into strange holes. Here goes nothing. Welcome to the simulation chamber. In here, you will be able to gain proficiency in the use of your arc weapons and any ID accessions. Alright, tell me how to do it. Oh, I can already sprint. What's what's a dash if not a sprint? All right, L1. Tap L1 in any direction. Good. Again, please. And again. Good work. 
All right, got a bit of a charge up on it. Oh, I can do it in the air too. That's something. Those are some pretty slow ass rockets. Once more. <laughs> Why are those rockets so fucking slow? Is that not the way out? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. Okay, it was just that the door wouldn't open until it knew I was done talking to myself. How thoughtful. I can't dash here for whatever reason. Oh wait, I can't so. Can I? Can't I? I could have sworn I just did. I guess it's not a combat area. Maybe it's only when my gun's out. I can't even. I can't even go into my sights or fire a bullet. I can jump though and do six slides. Yeah, talk to the crotch. Well, I've got lots of ideas for. Projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, will you look up at my face when you talk? Mind. Or was it because I started talking to you down here? <laughs> projects? That sounds like work. I can purchase projects using project points that I've earned. Projects give a large variety of benefits. At the moment, you only have access to Lily's basic projects, so head over there. I'm already there. I can upgrade Lily with my PP. Yeah, I unlocked the Phoenix. I want to view it in my garage. Hells yeah. Can I paint it and shit? Oh, I've had, it's just going to show me what all the other stuff I can get. Got a fucking motorcycle? A floaty drone thing? That, that's pretty lame. Ooh, that looks like a cool tank. Weird thing with flags. Cooler thing with flags. Motorcycle with flags. I guess the flags are a thing. That looks pretty neat. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need to get my hands on a Booma. Nipa? I want a monster truck? Hells yeah. Look at all these fucking vehicles. Jesus. That's cool. A dumper truck. There's a lot of goofy shit here. I'm all about that goofy shit. Is this, is this my Phoenix? Free roam. Thanks. I hate to pay for my roam. I'm pretty excited to, to get more into that vehicle shit. I, I really did like it in First Rage. I liked the racing and stuff. It was cool. I want to get in. Well, look at you. A fresh ranger. I'm Phoenix. I know I look good, but I drive better. Let's you and me go for a spin. It really does talk to me like Night Rider. That's amazing. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to do things in the order they appear. So obviously my first stop is right here. It's at that waypoint. Oh, it's Purple Trail. Oh, it even shows it on the map. Thank you. Not on the map, rather on the ground. Bush. Yep. You should see if you can clear that clog up. Good luck out there. I'm focusing. I don't see any bad dudes. So everything's probably fine. Are you a bad dude? I didn't see you though. I want to blow those up. Oh, they just fly around and do nothing in particular. Okay, all right. He's just hiding behind them. Oh, they fucking went and died before I could blow them up. Oh, those are grenades. Let's dash away. Fucking smash his armor off. You next. Nope. All right. Okay, they won't they won't just come to you if there's stuff in the way. Got to play it smart. Oh, the, the red there's a red pip, I think, telling me that there's an enemy right there. Yep. All right, enemies show up on the little radar too. That's handy. All right, of course it is it is 2019, so we're going to have to loot. To be honest, I'm not, not a huge fan of the loot, but uh, I guess like, you gotta. 
Although I did love Metro Exodus. And I was pretty much already expecting to have to loot and, and used to it and accepting of it. I, uh, you know, I just, I kind of want to just get all the things. Maybe from just walking over it. Maybe just, you know, when it, when it's over, just give me everything nearby. But, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just not crazy about it. It is absolutely a thing for padding out gameplay. What is happening? Oh, there's pals. Where are these pals? Oh, you're, you guys are still here? I guess I should have been heading up there a while ago. I was just looking around talking about how much I don't like loot. Oh! <laughs> I mean, he was close enough. Might as well. But, uh, yeah. I, I like the idea that it will pull the health towards me, but I just don't care for looking at every nook and cranny for stuff. And I know you, you don't have to. Alright, I did it! I got a hundred bucks for doing it. Alright, let's see what's available. She started to talk, but I fucking put an end to that. Oh man, scrolling through these is going to have to get smoother. I hope they patch that. This this is day one, by the way. It's actually day minus one. Wait. Nope, it's 12.07. It's day one now. I, I got this a little bit early. Because uh, it's supposed to come in on the 14th. And then on the 13th, which was today, I got a call saying I can come pick it up at 8. So I'm like, alright, I'm going to come pick it up at 8. Don't have a whole lot of projects right now, but I guess you know it's still early. It's still tutorialish. Overdrive multiplier, increasing the cap from ten to enable more overdrive and three. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want that. And then from here, oh, I can get a I can get a throw arc from grenades. That's handy. Hey, I lose them, right? What is that? What is this? There's shit going down over there. Wait, am I going backwards now? The arrows are pointing backwards. What is happening? Oh, I passed it. <laughs> Mike still have weapons and gear inside. You should really check it out. Oh no. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Oh, you're not my friend. Oh, I got a lot of my shit blown up just now. Oh, I didn't last all that long. Hey, you have a baseball bat? That's cool and all. Can I interest you in this? Just to mix it up a little bit, a little variety. Oh, you're an armored boy. Oh, armored lady. Actually, no. If we don't have if we don't have boys and ladies in 2019, I can only imagine what we don't have here. You know what? You're you do you. Oh, sorry about your leg. Oh, can I have this? Can I have that thing? It looks pretty cool. Okay, so these abilities I don't have. It tells me where I can get them. <clears throat> This one, Scout is being located towards the Junkers Pass area. And gravity fluctuations have been felt in the Great Crack. Okay, so it gives me an idea of where I need to go. But I think I have access to doing these. I can spend Feltrite to unlock a level. There's also other things that I can't do until I've met with these people. But I mean, if I just do everything along the way, you can bet I'm just going to have a couple saved up by the time I get to them. I mean, I already have two. Boom! Yeah, <laughs> these grenades fucking suck, dude. Yeah, that was cool. Couldn't quite see for because of the smoke, so I didn't shoot. Oh no! I want to do this. Oh, it's got a way longer cooldown in real life. All right. 
Bit of a huge waste that. I was trying to be a cool guy in my overdrive mode and do a shatter. Turns out shatter has a much longer cooldown than in the tutorial. Who would have guessed? First thing I'm going to do is go to this though. I mean, it's it's on the way. I'm passing it. Oh, I'm even. I'm passing this too. All right. We're doing the question mark. Fucking try and stop me. Oh, there's a motorcycle right here. Yeah, I want to get on this. Okay, so I gotta return a vehicle to Trade Town to unlock it. I don't just get it whenever. I gotta unlock it. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so hard to control. Look what I've done. Look what I've done. I've really done it now. Let's go ahead and... Tr nope, stay away from that side of the... Why is this thing fucking... Ugh. I hate this vehicle. It feels so bad. It's like I tap it a bit to get like no turning, or I tap it just a bit more to get a fucking 90 degree angle. Oh no no no. Oh my god. Broken track. Okay. What was that thing? Oh hi friends. No, this sucks. It's like the, the aim is always trying to fix itself. So that I can sell my junk. What exactly is junk? Yeah, because these are for combining and craft shit, so nothing's really junk. Oh, I accept, I guess, this. <laughs> Alright, so junk is just an item you sell. I really wish there was a, a vehicle nearby I could get on that wasn't this. Because I don't like it. <laughs> we just get on it and then it writes itself. You know, I will go over it. I got the I got the heads up on you this time. You know, it's just smashing them in the face is a really good way to bust off armor too. Yeah, that one way better. I had the upper hand. I knew what I was doing. Oh, suddenly there's a thousand grenades and missiles coming my way. Alright, that wasn't great. <laughs> you guys have so many grenades. Oh, you're there's still pals behind me. Is that it for the pals behind me? What was happening to that person? Don't mind if I have a bit more ammo. Oh, there's like people electrocuting themselves and shit. I probably don't want to just go over there if people are getting electrocuted and shit. Dang, that was sloppy. I just let that happen. Still have quite a few peeps. Maybe I'll play it a little safer this time, a little slower. Whoop. Sloppy. Let's take a look, see. Oh, a big old group of them over there. But I don't have any grenades. Personal. Yeah, the one guy has armor, the guy at the back there. I think I did it. Also, I got double jump. I knew it wouldn't be too long before I got it. Boop. 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 
Oh, I can grab ledges. There we go. Yeah, I fucking killed it. I even got here. You didn't ask me to get up here, but I got here. That's called overachieving. That's how you get 110 out of 100. The game didn't recognize that though, so I'm gonna have to dock a point. You should always reward the player. I got a great crack arc. A great crack arc. That's hard to say. Oh, okay. I can I can focus to locate undiscovered arcs. They'll just shoot a beam up into the air. That's handy to know. I can just... Ah, I'm gonna assume that's what it looks like. And there's one over there. There's one in the distance there. One there. Alright, now I know. Can I shoot through this? Presumably not. I can give him a good startle though. Oh, you came down here? That was foolish, my friend. <laughs> Looks like they died on collision. That sucks. It's got a big stupid doll on the top. I don't know if I want it. Oh, jeez. I need to be careful. I'm backing up over a cliff here. Alright. The range on it isn't amazing. Didn't expect it to be. That was also a little sloppy. I'm trying things out. It's not always going great. You are just unaware of everything that's happening right now? I don't know how. There's like gunfire and shit, man. Hey, do you think the, the bad AI is a reference to the previous rage? <laughs> Alright, gotten a new vehicle. I swear I'm going to do the next story mission now. No more dilly-dallying. Wait, what weapon does this have? Oh, this thing doesn't have weapons. Hell yeah, fuck that guy. I'm not going to get out of my vehicle. Nor do I wish to maneuver in such a way that I'll run them over. No, I'm skipping everything. I don't know what that is. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going this way. I'm going to find John Marshall. Was John Marshall the Steve Bloom guy? I don't know. Also, is Gun Barrel a place I can... Oh yeah, I can stash vehicles here. I have that now. Cool. Got some auto parts. Vehicle upgrades. Phoenix was waiting right here for me. I appreciate you, Phoenix. Oh, here we go. We got a change skin button. That's what I want. Let me customize that shit. It changes the model, too. Hmm. I don't, these are all kind of shit. But I think I like this one with the X the most. Oh, I like that one a lot. Ejector seat. Look at how good that is. And you can combo it with a bunch of abilities I don't have yet. <laughs> it looks silly as shit, too. I just accepted three tiny quests. Hells yeah. Tiny quests. Are you excited? Maria Mich... 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 See you later. Does everyone have a name? What's this guy's name? Peter O'Nails. I wonder why they all have names. Like, why? What's this? Yeah, I want to read that data pad. Exciting excavation. I love excitement. Greetings, faithful reader. It is I, Ransack Tumbledown, collector of antiques and rare curios. Welcome to the first of my published journals, Exciting Excavations. In this installment, I will retell the tale of how I located a device believed to be the first prototype for the infamous wasteland weapon, the wing stick. Crafted by legendary pre- pre uh, Apophis genius, Christopher Wing, this device was so effective it actually decapitated its creator during a test session. Oh, I got something for it. What's your name? Amina Cross. Oh, she related to the bad guy? Cool necklace, by the way. It's just, it's just dead rats. What the fuck? Yeah, I think he was the leader of the resistance in the first rage. He was voiced by Steve Bloom. I guess he isn't in this one. Steve Bloom's got to be somewhere in this game, though. He always is. Marshall sent you, huh? Third one this week. Let's hope you got something they didn't. Are you just voiced by me? Pretty sure that person has the same fucking voice my character does. Well, hey! <laughs> if it ain't my lucky customer. Pretty sure you also have the same voice as me. 
Okay. Finally, my f my first real story mission. Although I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I do like lollygagging. These old sewers. We hooked it up to a turbine generator. Makes us completely independent. As in, we got our own power supply. We don't have to buy no feltride from greedy traders fixing the market and playing dirty. Mother Nature provides. And how's right. that working out for you? Well, apart from the occasional wrench in the works, like, uh, say, a beauty infestation clogging up the turbine, we're good. We got our own juice. Plus, there's always a gun for hire to do the jobs if things go south. That's what I am? A hired gun? Hell no. You're a ranger. That's a whole different enchilada. Whole lot spicier and meatier. Just making sure, Marshal. Just making sure. Nothing around? Okay. Let's get on to it then. Let's let's get the sewer level out of the way early, because every game has one. Dang, that's fast. I have uh, entered the objective area. What am I looking at? Okay. Oh, this one had a keyboard in it. I need a keyboard. I'm playing with a controller. Let's, let's, let's roll with the pistol for a wee bit. Just see what happens. See how I like it. Oh, there was a big person. Oh, now there's a little person. I don't know what gun I want to roll with, to be completely honest now. Here we are. What is this? What happened to this person? They got smacked by my gun. That's what happened. You trying to give me the spooks? Trying to spook hey, me Marshall, a bit? Marshall, did you know there's an arc down here? Just sitting there. Oh yeah. Maybe you got the nanotrite config it takes. See if you can't get it to open sesame for you. Okay, I mean, of course. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Can Welcome I get crushed by this? I'm afraid to try. A barrier didn't stop me, I just chose to stop. It's an architect shotgun. Oh, it's a shotgun. Man, I've only seen these in old hollow logs. Oh, this is a this is a handsome shotgun, I gotta say. Oh, do we really need a tutorial? I know how to use a shotgun. I was just thinking about how if there's going to be short muties coming at me, I'm going to want a shotgun. Yeah, I know. Fire. We fired before. Oh, that was that was a thick one. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a meaty shotgun. That feels good. Okay, that's good. Oh, look at that! Look at that guy fly. You know, I want I want more distance. So I'm gonna get you from this angle. Oh, that's a big old tumble. Let's try to launch this guy. Yeah, that that shotgun feels good. Okay. See what that's all about. Oh, that guy was okay. Your training is complete. Ending simulation. Oh, I don't have I don't have access to double jump in this. Oh yeah, this this a uh, that's a nice meaty shotgun. I'm satisfied with that shotgun. Id software cannot do a bad shotgun. Not <clears throat> many of those still around, and only you can use it. It's a uh, hardwired to your nanotrite signature. 
Oh, by all means. By all means, come at me. Whoop, I tried to hit. Oh, he just took his head right off. Oh, and then his body disappeared. I didn't have, I didn't have time to appreciate the damage. I can collect little bits of them, though. Yeah, that is... And did it reload super fast? I didn't even see myself reload it happen so fast. After playing Metro Exodus and going with the shotgun that has a, a ton of ammo in it, I'm kind of used to uh, a really long load time on my shotgun, so this is a fucking treat. Oh my god, look at how fast that reloads. That really is a treat. Oh, there's lots of ya. Nice. Yep. This this shotgun just feels damn good. I'm gonna have to give this game a shotgun out of ten. Oops, that was an accident. There are more things I should have got. Yeah. They do have a, a very obvious red flash, so that's nice. You can't miss them. Because, see, it's fucking dark as shit over here. There's no way I would have found it. Oh, that's what that noise was. I remember hearing that noise earlier, not being sure why I was hearing it. So it is, uh, it's my ability. It'll be, it'll definitely be more noticeable when I'm playing on my own time. If I'll have the volume up. Yeah, just give me everything. Just a box. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take better note of, uh, the names of things, because they seem to be funny and silly. Oh, hi! Let's line y'all up. Line everybody up. Oh, little wall jumps and shit. You're cool. Oh, I see. I do have to. I do have to load every individual shell, but that's fine. That's still pretty fast. I'm glad I can walk over these things. It doesn't make me look down and press a button. That would be hellish. Oh, what is that all about? That guy kamikaze me? What a hero. Oh, I have no reason to overdrive. There's no one else around. Actually, you know what? If, there, if that was a health infusion right there, I should just use one so I can take it. It would be stupid not to. Also, I feel like there was multiple paths that I did not take. Why did you even show up today? Yeah, I'm gonna have to explore this area a little bit better. There's also a... Why is this glowing? Oh, I can just shoot it. Rage also had a, a DLC uh, level in mission that I actually never got around to. I think it was called the Scorchers or something. I really wanted to do a... Uh... Can I smack this? Yeah, I can. I really wanted to do a playthrough of Rage, but I just... You know, there's, there's so much coming out. So much good stuff I wanted to do instead. Not that Rage isn't good, because like I said, I do really like it, but I just never got around to doing that. So those guys with the fucking tanks, they, they're the kamikaze ones. I thought... When they get close, it's a little hard to hit them. Even finding them in the melee zone is a little tough. I 
fucking hear you. One thing that uh, the first rage really can boast, oh, is the really good animation. Like when these guys are running at you and you shoot them and they stumble, it looks really good. Ah. Not just that, but like, I was joking about how the AI is a bit silly, but it's actually really cool. You can be, uh, you know, you'll you'll wipe out a squad and like some of the survivors will will actually like retreat and like form up with like the next batch of enemies and they will actually like it, based on their injury they'll like limp towards cover and stuff and like when, like for example when the mutants are running at you depending on where you shoot them while they're coming at you they will stumble in a very realistic way it was really cool a lot they they put a lot of work into the an animation for that game tons of frames and it was uh, it was very pretty. Just a shame that poppin' was so bad. I can tell this was useful because it's a bright pink. And bright pink being my favorite color, I'm fucking thrilled that it's so important in this game. Pink doesn't get enough play. Oh no, there's no stopping him. That guy speaking? I didn't even hear what he said. How could you do this? The enemies sure are fun and wild, though. Not, not you don't see a lot of basic stuff happening. They all have their things that they do. Their little quirks. He's still okay. He's still okay. There we go. He's not okay anymore. Oh, I'm down to only one shot with this thing. I got I got a little too slap happy with it. That's no good. Guess I'll use this for now. Oh wait, shotgun gels. Fuck it. We're back in business, baby. Ah, what the hell? I was trying to... Trying to smash a box. Now there's a floating fireball here. Is that... Okay. <laughs> I thought it was it was a thing. I thought it was intentional for a moment. I've reached the turbine. Like you said, it's gummed up with some nasty mutant goo. Shoot your goo, my dude. Alright, reboot the sewer turbine. Got a handy marker and everything. I just want to look around a wee bit. This area may be difficult to return to, so I would like to get all the collecties and not have to come back. Oh, you're a problem. Oh, I need to get to a better place for fighting than where I was. Okay, it seems like... There, I did want to give him a little blast in case he had some armor. Sneak up and blast. Seems like I found a good sweet spot where his gun cannot get me. I wonder if shooting the tank on his back will help. Oop! Oop, 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 okay. Trick is to stay low where his Gatling gun cannot get me. This is working out pretty well. Always oh, tossing goods.
these are man, this is some real pussy tactics right here. Oh, okay. It's cause they got a little bastard. Get out, bastards. Alright. First gotta get somewhere where he can't get me. Oh, he's killing his own dudes. Anyways, I was pretty satisfied with my bitch tactics down here. Oh, you bastard. You fucking goobers keep sneaking up on me. I wonder how this guy likes a wing stick. Oh, that's huge damage. Well, yeah, but I had to kill a big dude, too. Ah! I think they may be attempting to speak. Through cyborg implants, I can't quite tell. Oh wow, nice. That was fucking graceful, dude. Look at he split. Fucking knew there'd be a dickhead by me. I was holding the button to turn around. Maybe I should switch up a wee bit. They fall pretty quickly to this too. That might have, that might even be a better idea. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. Thanks for a little autocorrect grab there. Alright, the day has been saved. I wouldn't say like butter. Now I want to get the hell out because this place stinks worse than a grunt barrack septo tank. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. There's an old service elevator down there. It leads directly into my armory. Of course there's a shortcut. Thanks for the shortcut. That was another thing that uh the rage levels always had was once you got to the end you could quick take like a shortcut right back to the beginning all right that is the that is the mission it is done it's been about two hours i'm gonna say uh that's it for this first session i'm gonna be playing the rest on my own time because like i said this this one's just for me uh my impression so far is uh you know not not as polished as i would have liked but i feel that really kind of comes with open world games you know, there's there's so much there. There's so much. There's so many variables that you can't always polish for everything. You can't be prepared for everything that could happen. Uh, animation, a little little spotty. Not as impressive as Rage, but you know, Rage didn't do very well. I think it was uh, it was impressive in some ways and unimpressive in others. I'm excited to continue playing Rage too, of course. I I do like to get OCD with my getting everything on the map. I joked that about that being a Ubisoft thing. They fucking love that too. That's kind of why I don't play Ubisoft games and just avoid open world games altogether. But, you know, they keep taking old games I like, old franchises I like, and turning them into open world games, so I guess I just got to conform. Thanks for watching. If you want more of this, I'll probably be streaming it on uh, twitch.tv slash tktowa. And, uh, yeah, stick around for more videos, more Sega Saturn stuff, more Digimon stuff, more shooters. Thanks for watching.